Welcome to The Journey. I spent a fair amount of time, if I'm honest with you, too much time looking at social media when we went into lockdown. And a few days later, I began to wonder if this was good. Why do I ask that question? First, I noticed there was a lot of division and argument, and sometimes it was bordering on defamation. And I thought that in the circumstances that we're currently in, I have enough bad news, and I don't really need to get involved in these fights. And a few times, I also saw a post or a tweet claiming this or that. And when I looked a little bit further, I discovered that that post or that tweet was false. It was a lie. An example of such a falsity was the recent debacle around Bill Gates. And I wondered why people deliberately post hard truths or even downright lies on social media, especially in a time like this. You know, we have the extraordinary ability to communicate far and wide through these little devices that we carry in our pockets. And when I think about it, one false message has the potential to deflate a currency and even to bring down an economy. On the other hand, a post or a tweet has the ability to breathe life into a situation that could be life-threatening or even devastating. In this Easter week, we continue to celebrate the good news of Jesus' resurrection. We have heard a few accounts this week of how the message of the resurrection was carried by the woman to the men who were locked up in a room. They found the empty tomb and they went back to tell the men that Jesus has risen from the dead. It was a message that they could not keep to themselves, a message that they wanted to go and share. It was really good news, news we know the men did not receive very well. They found it hard to believe. They had to go and look for themselves. The Gospels tell us these wonderful stories. And I think this resurrection account challenges us to think about what and how we communicate. It is easy at this time of lockdown when it really sinks in and becomes more monotonous, more boring, more frustrating as we begin to experience cabin fever like maybe we have not in the last couple of weeks, that slowly we slip into the same negative state of mind as those disciples did after Jesus' crucifixion. The Gospels tell us that they locked themselves up. And that perhaps is a metaphor for turning in on themselves and maybe even turning in on each other. Is that perhaps why Thomas decided to leave the group? I wonder about that. And we don't want this to happen to us. We want to be like the woman. We want to be messengers of good news in a time when things are really difficult. That's what so many people need at this time. It is what we need for our own spirits at this time. And so I think the resurrection of Jesus invites us in this Easter week to be messengers of truth, messengers of good news. And that's the best way, it seems to me, that we can live the resurrection in this time of lockdown. And so today, it might be a good idea for us to pause and ask in what ways we can use these devices that we all own to be agents of good news. How can I be a messenger of good news today? We might want to ponder too, who might most need to hear good news from us today? And so, I invite you, take your device and send a word of affirmation, a word of love, a word of good news to someone you know who needs it right now.